Welcome. I'm Cameron. We're here with Helpful Smiles Live TV. I'm here with Chef Eddie. Hello, everybody. So tonight we are here uh, on uh, HSTV Live to make uh, a nice recipe. Uh, we are using the Gustare Vita product. It's the high Italian brand of product. We have an Alfredo and a roasted garlic sauce. I have uh, lots of uh, seafood and uh, some uh, uh, herbs and uh, spice, and I just use it up. I have some Italian parsley, some leek, garlic, uh, sun-dry tomato. We have uh, Argentina shrimps that you find in our seafood departments. In our store, some swordfish, fresh mussels, a great Pinot Grigio, Santa Margherita from La Valdadige in Italy. Uh, while we are here uh, with Italian food today, do we want to tell them that we have our promotion? Yeah, so. At High V through March 18th, we have a special promotion going on called Say Ciao to Italia. And what that means is Do all these great Gastari Vita products that you see here, pretty much everything on the table outside of the meat is Gastari Vita. And if you purchase any of those products through March 18th, you'll automatically be entered to win a chance for a $250 High V gift card. Yeah, yeah. And then there is on some items to the get one and get one free, right? Oh, yeah. There's great yeah, deals yeah, on yeah, it, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Eddie, what would you do with 250 bucks to hide the... Oh my gosh, I go to the charcuterie, seafood department, cheese, and I will make a nice party for my wife, my son, and I. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hopefully I'd be invited. Well, yeah, you never know. So right now, the first thing to do, I already have the pot here with the salt and uh, boiling water. I just put it there. Uh, and I'm going to start, uh, I call this plate fettuccine Alfredissimo. It's like a big Alfredo, super Alfredo, because uh, Alfredo is already a great sauce by itself. This Custare Vita is a great product, but I'm giving like the swordfish kick with a little bit of uh, il porro, we say in Italy, leek, and uh, some lime zest, lime juice, and a little bit of white wine. So I'm going to put the pan on, warm it up a little bit with the olive oil. Then uh, this other pan, uh, I start first, first with the leek and the swordfish. We are going to uh, cut, this is a swordfish steak, then I got it. It's about, the swordfish steak is about uh, uh, 10 oz. And uh, I'm going to remove uh, the skin. And then I'm going to dice the, the swordfish. If you don't like the dark meat of the swordfish, you can remove it and uh, you can put it aside. Eddie, you grew up in Italy, right? Yeah, I'm actually from uh, Positano in southern Italy on the Amalfi coast. I grew up by the sea. I used to like uh, swimming and uh, getting mussels, octopus, uh, just with my hands <laughs> and bringing to my grandma. She was making for me at home at night. Like, that's how I grew up. Yeah. That's a little different than the Midwest. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit like here, like how they grow up hunting deer, you know, and the, the gaming. Where I grow up, we, we, we fish and, uh, and cook. So right now the oil is doing the right sound. It's like, it's perfect for me. Okay. Okay, that's what I want. Now we have the leak in here nicely. Always careful uh, when uh, you cook, like play a little bit with the, with the temperature. Uh, and so that swordfish, what are you gonna end up doing with that? I'm, uh, so I just put the leak in there, olive oil. Then uh, I'm uh, kind of uh, browning, you know, like uh, uh, coating the swordfish. I cut like almost using like uh, if you do like a carbonara with the uh, guanciale or pancetta. So cutting like a little dice like this. So they're like bite size almost. Bravo, a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And they are going to cook very nicely in the in the pan, and uh, the leek will give kind of a, a flavor of uh, uh, like almost uh, um, it's, it's like a, a shallot 
but more intense between an onion and a shark. And on the swordfish, it kind of give like probably, especially like a different thing, like a different flavor than I really like in this recipe. Okay. You see how I'm doing right now. I'm just taking the swordfish, something that I like at this point. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper, fresh black pepper. So I've had chicken Alfredo, I've never had swordfish Alfredo. That's why I called Alfredissimo. <laughs> yeah. So because uh, uh, you could, uh, you could actually, as uh, you can see, you could cook, cook seafood with an Alfredo sauce. You could do shrimps, you know, uh, you could do even a seared tuna, you can give just a nice like seared to the tuna in a fry pan. And then uh, uh, in the end, the pudding on the top, you cook the Alfredo, the ta tagliatelle and the Alfredo sauce, and then you can put the swordfish, just uh, medium rare on the top okay. with some citrus. And say, you can do, you know, cooking is a fantasy. It's like creating. And that's what we are doing right now. Recipe? Do you go strictly by the book, or no, do you, you switch I, it up? I, I, what, what I do? I grocery shop when I, when I am in the store like this recipe. You know, you said, can you do something with pasty food? I just was walking through the aisle. I had something in mind before, and then I end up with this. Like, you know, I. That's how my my brain works. Like, I wish my brain. Was yeah. <laughs> so as you can see the. The swordfish is getting a, a nice color. So, Eddie, when you're cooking seafood, what's your favorite seasoning to use for it? You know, I use like salt and pepper, herbs. I love mint. I love parsley. Uh, I love lemon, limes. I do some, sometimes I do shrimps with orange. Orange pine nuts, you know, pretty good with raisins. It's something that uh, I used to do always in Italy. You see, this is, uh, at this moment here, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, white wine. I'm cooking with the same wine that I'm drinking because uh, it's what I do in my house. You know, everybody, you know, when you're cooking, you have family, you have guests, uh, and you can have a glass of wine, uh, you know, you can get a nice bottle of wine and, and cook with that. It will be amazing, like a little bit. So right now I just put it, the, the wine in there. I'm putting a little bit of uh, lime zest, as you can see. Uh, and then we will save more lime zest for uh, uh, the plate to do, when we do the presentation of the plate. And then I'm putting the juice of the lime. And I'm just going to cook the, I'm just going to cook like this uh, for like probably three, four minutes, you know, until all the flavor, they, uh, they kind of, uh, it's a married together, like, you know, sure. in a nice, nice way. Blend together. Yeah, yeah. So, so at this point, Eddie, a lot of your cooking, is it just from feel? Like you're just, yeah, saying, you I, just know? Yes. I'm going to put a little bit of salt. Because uh, we didn't put salt yet, not too much, just a little bit of salt. So Eddie, we have a question from Jody. She's wondering what kind of wine you chose and why. So I chose a Pinot Grigio from the Val d'Adige. So we are talking about the north of Italy, the Alps. I chose this because the the flavor. So I want a kind of a tropical fruit flavor. I kind of wanted like some uh, nice fresh cut flower. And that's what uh, I was looking in this kind of Pinot Grigio. That's kind of unique because comes from uh, a little bit of uh, higher vineyards, you know, and that's pretty, pretty intense, very complex, sure. you know, and uh, we are going to do uh, two plates then to me that are easy, but together there will be, you need the body, you need a little bit of complexity for a plate like this, especially because with the Alfredo there is the cream, so you need a little bit of uh, alcohol and a, little, uh, and a good structure in the wine. That's why I choose that. Gotcha. Yes, so, now I'm doing something more interesting. 
I pre-hit this one a little bit. So, and uh, we put a little bit of olive oil always. I love to cook with extra virgin olive oil. And this Custare Vita one is a cold press. That's important, cold press uh, with, the, with the olive oil. Then it means like very high quality. Uh, and that's extra virgin. Then uh, I'm digging, I got like three pieces of garlic. So you have two dishes going at the same time here. Eddie, yeah, right? because you know, it's easy, 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 easy. We have the tagliatelle there. I did this with my son Vincenzo, like in uh, 24 minutes at home and he was running between my legs that he wanted to eat, he was hungry, you know. <laughs> but I mean, this is uh, easy, easy. You see, you cut some swordfish, you cut some herbs, like I did Italian parsley, the leek, uh, this is the leek. The leek, I took it off like this part, I peel it a little bit, and uh, I dice the, the white part pretty well. Okay. And that's, this is the, the flavor, then uh, I don't know if you want to smell this. You see, that's very oh. intense, that's very, you know, it's almost like the plate is telling you, I wish you all could smell me. this, like it doesn't fit. Manja me, we say now, manja me, eat me. Ragavi, you understand? And this is like, like this is going together and uh, lo voglio stufare. Stufare, it's like cooking a little longer just to put it together on medium heat. And then I'm going to put the Alfredo sauce the last three, four minutes because, you know, the Alfredo sauce is already ready to go like this. You just have to warm it up, like basically to serve in temperature. But uh, what I'm doing here, this is uh, another step. I'm going to do something almost like a bisque. A bisque is like uh, where they say lobster bisque. So it's like a, 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 a concentrate of flavor. And in this case, I'm going to do with the seafood. Yes. So Eddie, we have a question from Joan. She's wondering why you didn't dice the garlic? Does that make ah. it stronger? <laughs> because I'm going to remove the garlic. Ah, okay. Because uh, I... I that's why I, I like them to the pay attention. That's good. So guys, you are full of it. So I did that because uh, I want the flavor of the garlic in there and I want to cook her uh, for long, but I don't want the garlic uh, in the sauce because I already have a roasted garlic sauce here. And that's what I'm going to do. My uh, zuppetta di pesce. So basically is, uh, zuppetta di pesce is, um, uh, with the, the shrimps, uh, the mussels, and the sauce with a little bit of parsley, rosa garlic sauce, gusare meat. I'm cooking first the shell a little bit here, you know. So it is something I'm curious about. Yeah. You're using Alfredo out of the jar. I, I have to imagine you can make your own Alfredo from oh, scratch. Yeah. Oh how yeah. Does, how does gusare vita Alfredo compare? It's pretty good, nice and creamy. I can see that it's made for really like good cheese, you know, Pavedeus Parmigiano Reggiano in this one because the real fridge is like Parmigiano butter okay. and Pave yeah, and then they thick it up with a little bit of starch and I can see there is some black pepper there. All right. I, and with the garlic I want this. So you say, oh, you're overcooking the garlic. No, I'm Napoletan. So from southern Italy and the garlic, when we put it like this, we like to brown it. So you almost uh, taste like an uh, ancestor plate, like, you know, like when they used to cook in these uh, old uh, kind of skillet, like, you know, at my house, I all have like, uh, all of my pen are like uh, uh, cast iron pen, because I like the flavor of cast iron pen. This okay. is almost like replying that kind of cooking, you know? Eddie, where did you learn to cook? I mean, I, I worked, I, I worked in restaurant for about 20, Five, 30 years. I start when I was 12. 12. And I start when I was 12 with my grandfather. But before that, when I was a kid, my grandfather, they call him Cavaliere, nonno Federico, eh, he had the bakery. So he used to make bread, uh, pizza, uh, different varieties of bread in, in Bositan. Eh, he kind of like, when I was a kid, I was in there, and I was kind of learning how to do the dough. That's why I love making dough. I love making pasta. Uh, you know, I, I love uh, all, all these uh, 
cooking because my grandfather, my grandmom, they, they kind of put into this. Then I work in a different restaurant. Okay. So hey, we're at about the halfway point we should be, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we you are. This looks so easy. Yeah, no, well, it's not a... You really... I, I'm doing this with the shell. You say, why you go to the, put the shrimp shell in there? Because in the shell, there is the flavor. There is a... And I'm, I can show you how I just peel this... Uh, uh, shrimp. The Argentina one are my favorite shrimp. You basically hold the tail. This that they frost in six, seven minutes in a cold water, in a bowl, running cold water, and then you just do this, and they pop out. And this is amazing. It's a great product that you find in our seafood, uh, uh, at high uh, our seafood. And uh, don't forget that we do also the responsible choice in our seafood uh, uh, department uh, uh, as a high What does that mean? So in it means that a high deep pay uh, attention where the fish come from, how is, uh, if it's farm raised, how is farm raised, uh, in which environment, if there are any contamination, uh, uh, how the, uh, the fish is caught, if it's caught like uh, uh, on the property way, they pay attention with the environment. And the high deep works with the Monterey Observatory, uh, Greenpeace. Uh, to have this high standard for our seafood. Okay, so yeah. basically responsible choice, you know exactly where your seafood's coming from. There's yes, no questions. and you can track everything and how it's farmed and, uh, uh, and it's all high quality. We have high quality salmon, swordfish, tuna. If you come in our store, yes, we are working to get more whole fish uh, in soon. Like in my store, we had some whole fish, but then now they are kind of having a little trouble with the weather, so, but, I think for what I know, then we are getting ready to have a lot of like, cool. yeah, I, I got a groomer a few weeks ago. It was like this, five pound groomer, I big it. It was amazing. Right. And I got in our store, yeah. Ed, Eddie said his store. He's based out of Mankato, Minnesota store. So you're ever in the area, stop by, <laughs> get some seafood or wine or any, any sort of cooking knowledge. He makes it look easy, but. Oh, it's, it is. So basically now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove, sorry, I'm going to remove the shell of the shrimp and the garlic. Uh, actually, I want to keep the garlic a little, little bit because I'm going to cook the shrimps in here. Then after I cook the shrimps in here, I will put a, remove everything and I will put a little bit of pasta water in there. So you're gonna put the pasta water with the yes, shrimp? Yes, yes. Okay, why? Because uh, the pasta water uh, kinds of, uh, uh, it makes it uh, uh, a little bit, uh, uh, coming all together, all the flavor. Okay, so. Back up, yeah. Interesting. It just smells incredible. I put first the pasta water also in the, in the, our, uh, fish. So Eddie, we have another question from Joan. She's wondering what is the average shelf life of shellfish? Uh, you know, we say that from when the fish come out of the store, uh, we don't give you more than uh, uh, two days. Okay. Like, you know, uh, that's how we see. We get like, we have like live uh, mussels, uh, now in the store, uh, we are getting like live oysters to shock in the shell. Then they are really, really, really good too. Uh, but you know, when uh, they, uh, the, you take the seafood at home, I would suggest always to use the seafood no more than two days. Two days? Even if, sure. yeah, yeah, that's to have the freshness. And you want the seafood as fresh as, as you can. I've seen videos of like calamari that is like you put a certain oil on it like dances in the pan. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Those are the fresh like uh, they put soya sauce. Oh, okay. Soya, yeah. Oh I, yeah. I don't know if I'd want that fresh of it. 
I, I, I love like octopus and calamari, eh? So, I, yeah, I like to book this uh, uh, liquid surface a little bit more because I don't want uh, uh, the Alfredo that, that uh, white, white color, but I prefer to have a little bit like uh, a color uh, like this because when you cook a little more the, the, the swordfish and the leek they kind of uh, uh, have a different kind of flavor. I'm going to dry a little bit. Hmm, that's really good. Yeah. Alright, so Eddie, what are we doing with the with the spread here? I gotta move the you gotta put it in the oven. Alright. Okay. So Eddie, you, you have a big fan in, in Joan. She has another question for you. <laughs> She's wondering, do you ever eat frozen fish or does it gotta be fresh? Oh uh, no, you can you can buy frozen fish. Of course you can buy frozen fish. We have like a uh, aisle of frozen fish. Some fish, uh, uh, it's actually for me better to buy frozen because... Like, like what exactly? You know, some fish then they come from very far. I prefer to buy frozen because, uh, uh, you know, the, the fish had to travel to come uh, here, so you want to be, you want to be, sh uh, you are more like sure than uh, everything went well with that fish, like you know. Sure. Yeah, but uh, I, I buy like frozen cod anytime, and I love it, you know. So right now I'm doing this. I put a little bit more of olive oil in there. We have. Uh, That, that sound is just, it just makes you hungry. Yeah, that's the sound, the sound going to the wood. The garlic sauce, now it's bringing back up all the flavor. Eddie, we got another question from Natalie. She's curious, what's your favorite meal to make for your family? <laughs> you know, I have no favorite meal, unfortunately. I, 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 I... You have a toddler at home, so does he decide what you guys eat a lot of nights? Who? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> he loves pizza. You know, in my house, I have a real pizza oven bonfire. Then, uh, we may, yeah, yeah. You, you, this one we gotta put it in here a little bit. So we got a question from Dan. He's wondering, how do you know if your seafood or your swordfish is cooked all the way through? That's a great question. So yeah, the swordfish, uh, uh, it's a fish. Then uh, you wanna cook all the all the way through. So basically, uh, I do this. Uh, if it's chopped like this, it got to have a, a nice color like this one, you see? It's covered it's, in sauce. Yeah, but it's a little like, it's an excuse for me to drive, you know. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have sat. But I mean, uh, uh, so let's just see, we have a steak of swordfish, right? We put it uh, on a fry pan or in a grill, a fry pan like this, drizzle of olive oil, salt and pepper on the swordfish. When on the bottom, on medium, high heat, starts to get a little bit brown, flip on the other side. And then, you know, the, the swordfish is a flaky fish, it's a steaky fish. So it kind of, more you cook, more the meat relaxed. So it kind of tenderizes a little bit. When uh, you can see that with the fork is going almost through the middle, it's ready. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do the pasta in here. Right? So Eddie, we got another question from Stacy. She's are Hello, those really Stacey. muscles? Are those really muscles you're using? Yes, they go. Yeah, of course. Okay. That I like to <laughs> explain that choice a little bit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it's the muscles easy. are uh, uh, from our seafood department. Uh, this one uh, they come from Prince Edward Island in uh, Canada. There are great, great muscles. I buy for myself anytime and I love them and uh, the tagliatelle that I'm using here are the Gustare Vita one the new find in uh, our Italian aisle and you know tagliatelle uh, they don't require too much time time to cook the mussels you know then they are ready when they start to open so also with the mussels we are going to put some parsley 
So Eddie, if somebody was making this for the first time, do you yeah. think it'd be pretty easy just to follow the steps? Or what are some yeah. tips? No, I mean, uh, uh, tips are uh, cook the swordfish at the right time. Nice to sear it. Uh, I really like the thing that uh, uh, this, uh, this sauce has this kind of, of color is uh, uh, almost like a, a, a brown roe. So roe is a kind of French uh, uh, sauce then. Uh, and I like the, 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 the flavor, the smell. Uh, the mussels, uh, look at this. Eddie, when you get mussels from hy are they by the pound or are they by... They're by the pound. We, we sell in, uh, I think the bags are uh, two pound and a quarter. But uh, you can get how many you want. You can get, you can get how many you want. So now I'm putting back the... We are putting back here the, the shrimps to end cooking with the mussel for just a few minutes. Eddie, do you have to use this type of pasta or can you use a you different type of pasta? You can do what you want. You can even do like, uh, if you like uh, ravioli with uh, ri uh, ricotta, uh, you can do like some, uh, because with Sarevita we have uh, lots of like fresh pasta do, you know? Sure, so really just any type And my of soup noodle. is ready like this. We just have the bread in here and uh, we go zoop. And I'm going to put, uh, when the, the heat is like this, almost it's close, just a scoop of this. Eddie, we have a question here from si. Jody. Are mussels scallops? No, 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 no. The scallops uh, are uh, uh, like larger and they're like, uh, uh, they have a white shell. Uh, we sell scallops too. We sell, uh, actually we have like dry scallops, so fresh dry scallops in the store. Uh, we sell beige scallops too, then there are uh, a little bit smaller. The dry scallops, uh, uh, one they come in fresh, the previously frozen in which, uh, are the, um, the beige scallops. Eddie, we got a great question from Kristen. She's wondering, how do you know when seafood is cooked Look at me. all the uh, way through? She feels like it's, no. it's easy to go from undercooked to overcooked and like, just like that. Bravo, bravo, that's what can happen. But you, uh, actually with the shrimps, you don't want them to shrink too much. Uh, the mussels, you got to be sure that they open up and they just do this. No more than that, otherwise they shrink. Okay. Th this is perfect. Uh, depends on the fish, like uh, if you cook an old fish, for example, in the oven, sometimes I was talking about you getting this whole fish, the whole fish when uh, uh, you, you bake, and uh, when there is a thin by the belly, and uh, you push like this and it comes out, the fish is done. Like, so Eddie, why, why did you cook the swordfish on medium-high rather than a lower temp? Because I like it. I like, I like cooking on me. <laughs> so that's the best answer there is. Yeah, because I like I really like it. Okay, so now you're mixing the noodles right into yeah, yes, the swordfish. Yes, 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 yes. I put this one back on. The noodles are ready. Interesting. I didn't strain the pasta because I want a little bit of water. When I do this, the pasta water is a starch. You know, the starch from the pasta. The starch from the pasta, it will react anytime you do this with your sauce and, and it will make like creamier. Especially with all the cheese was in our Alfredo. That was our base. See, I never think about that. I, I always strain the noodles, uh, always. You can, I mean, you can do both. But I like uh, to use the water pasta to do many things. Yeah, this smell is just incredible. And the swordfish in here is fantastic. Like, Eddie, in what part of Italy are you from again? I told you, Positano, Amalfi Coast. Coast. La Costiera Malfidan. It's one of the best places on earth. Like I, I, Italy is all beautiful, uh, but the Amalfi goes like you know there is the island of Capri, Positano, Amalfi, uh, Ravello. It, it, it's amazing. So this is our our pasta. This is ready like this. So I want to put a little bit in a plate to show you. So and I'm going to do like this. Aspetta, we hold on. Aspetta means hold on. 
So that's interesting. You put it in the ladle first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so what's the reasoning for that? Because uh, it, it will uh, make a nice shape. Like it will not go all everywhere. Like okay. I do like this. There's a there's a method there's a method to it. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm going to pick some uh, swordfish uh, for garnish here. See. Some more here, and uh, need a bit more. Uh, you guys see the steam coming off of that plate? Then uh, Sandra Domino in the end. You say why Sandra Domino? Because it will break the flavor of the citrus. We we go with the nice Sandra Domino, the same Gustare Vita. We have great Sandra Dominos. Hold on, I still have to put the lime zest. Am I rushing it? No. Let's, let's put this right up. Yeah, and I'm doing the, the lime zest. And with this one, we are ready. Then our soup. Let me wash it. Our seafood soup. La zuppetta di pesce. It's almost like a tapas. Like you know, it's a, also like a Spanish way to, you can, uh, I always saying we have some uh, bread toasted, then I'm going to put it on the top. So it's like a soup, but it's not. Yeah, it's a soup because uh, you dip the bread. You, you are going to dip your bread in here. Now we show you. We put a little bit of parsley. And then we have the toasted cube bread. So anyway, we have a question from Lori. She's curious, what spice do you use the most at home? Is it garlic? No, 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 it, it really depends. You know, it depends what I do. Uh, I love like uh, uh, black pepper. I like uh, paprika, it's one of spices that I really love a lot. A good uh, paprika, or sometimes I even do adobo smoked pepper, you know? Well. And this is uh, over here. Uh, this is the seafood soup that we have here. The only thing I will put a drizzle of olive oil on the top for color. And so would you just pick that with your hands then? Is that how you would so eat you that? Know, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't come all. Uh, yeah. Cool. It's easy. Uh, then uh, do we want to tell them suggest the wine? We'll yeah, so them. you you told me something a few years ago that you don't have a favorite type of wine. No, 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 no. no. Why is that? Because uh, the wine, uh, for any food, you, you need the properly wine. So uh, with the perfect pairing, wine food uh, is a balance between the food that you eat uh, with the wine. So your mouth, like a, any bite, if the wine is the right one for you, it will kind of clean it up, fresher up your mouth and uh, uh, spreads all the aroma, all the flavor all around your mouth. Okay. So that's a balance and a, uh, and a finish. Like, so the know. meal makes the wine. Yeah. In this case, sorry, I, just to tell you, this one we have like nice tropical fruit, pretty good, intense, a little bit of mineral, nice flower flavor in there, uh, a little bit of golden apple, that's a great wine for a great pairing with a, a very easy recipe from our store. And these products are all Gastaria Vita, right? Yes, sir. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. And again, we have a great promotion going on called Say Ciao to Italia. Yes. Through March 18th, we got tons of deals. Any Gastaria Vita product you buy, that's this Alfredo, these noodles, olive oil, sun-dried tomatoes, and then anything they, you buy. They have lots of pizza toppings too. Yes. Yeah, you're right. It's yeah, not yeah, just yeah, yeah, strictly yeah. noodles. And yeah, so pastas, uh, fruits, and ice creams. They have ice gelato. You're right. Yeah, they have lemonade yeah. even. So yeah. pizza. 
Through yeah. March 18th, <laughs> if you buy any of those products, you have a chance to win a $250 Hy-Vee gift card. I'm Cam. This is Eddie. Eddie, ciao. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Gracias.